Hello everyone, my name is Olivia Bowden. I'm a student at Concordia University studying business management with a minor in healthcare management. I especially have a passion for elder care, which is why we come together today as we answer a research question. Can nutrition mitigate the progression of Alzheimer's disease? Alzheimer's disease is a neurodegenerative disorder that slowly and inevitably impairs memory and cognitive function. Alzheimer's disease is the most common form of dementia and it frequently begins after age 60 years and its prevalence rises after 60 years steadily with age. Most commonly, Alzheimer's disease is characterized by some kind of synaptic and neural loss. It also has a buildup of amyloid proteins around the neurons that lead to contributing factors of neuroinflammation and oxidative stress on the brain, which all interfere with the signals of communication of the neurotransmitters. Another variable of this neurodegenerative disorder is having excess cholesterol in the blood. Excess cholesterol in the blood can also lead to excess cholesterol in the brain, which can help trigger the amyloid protein that many see in Alzheimer's brains. Fortunately, there is a nutritional plan and recommended diet for those seeking to counteract those implications of the brain, such as the inflammation, the oxidative stress, and the excess cholesterol. A recommended diet for Alzheimer's consists of high fats, organic vegetables, nuts, beans, and fruits. Animal products such as meat products and dairy products, they can be consumed but in low amounts. A Mediterranean diet is a wonderful example of getting enough high fats, fruits, vegetables, nuts, and seeds. And it also naturally has less meat and dairy products. Studies also show that the Mediterranean diet is oftentimes associated with slowing down cognitive decline and lowering the risk of Alzheimer's disease. Unfortunately, not everyone can create a nutritional plan and maintain a nutritional plan. As you're 85 years and older, you may not be at home anymore, you may be in a nursing home, and the most convenient way to mitigate Alzheimer's symptoms is by using modern medicine. The number one prescribed medication for Alzheimer's is a choline esterase inhibitor called Donapezil, otherwise known as Aricept. And unfortunately, there are side effects to taking these kinds of modern medicines, such as nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. And one must ask themselves, do the side effects outweigh the convenience of taking this prescription? Now, on the other side of modern medicine, there is also natural ways called Eastern medicine that can help mitigate symptoms of Alzheimer's, such as turmeric and saffron. They are both spices found in the East, and they have been in studies comparing saffron against the leading medication, donapezil. And in the studies, they found that saffron and donapezil equally work the same except saffron has no kind of side effects that come along with it. Most importantly, because it's a food supplement and your body's gonna break it down a lot differently. Turmeric is also another spice that is anti-inflammatory. So if we remember the implications of the brain, we talked about inflammation, oxidative stress, and excess cholesterol. So the turmeric is gonna come in and combat that inflammation of the brain. In conclusion, the proposed research question, can nutrition mitigate the progression of Alzheimer's disease, was properly addressed and it is apparent that nutrition can lessen the symptoms of Alzheimer's disease and dementia. However, Alzheimer's disease still remains incurable, but with a proper nutritional plan, such as a plant-based diet, more specifically, Mediterranean diet with the high fats, high fruit and vegetable intake can help counteract a lot of those implications of the brain. Additionally, studies show that the Eastern food supplementation, such as the saffron and the turmeric, 
are shown to be just as effective as the leading prescription down a pezzel without any of the harsh side effects. So in summary, this following report was not intended to influence any Alzheimer's disease individuals to discontinue their modern treatment. The intent of this essay is to offer guidance about natural alternatives that support healthy and successful aging. Thank you.